Let's play this video. Fox News in reporting this video yesterday. And this is just indicative of the same problem, right? I mean, and indicative of the same solutions. You know, when Fox goes on and just talks about the idea of domestic uh, abuse and sort of plays it off, it's sending a message. Now, they also know that their audience ultimately... sees women as the property and chattel of their husbands or boyfriends. Uh, but this is, even for Fox, this is pretty bad. Listen to the, we're going to play the whole segment. Watch how seriously uh, Steve Dushi and uh, Brian Kilmeade and whoever, who's... Who's the third? Uh, who's the latest? Sorry, I have my mistake. I always forget her name. I thought it was um, the woman who used to be on The View, but it wasn't. It's it's another one subbing. I'll get that. I, I don't moment. know who it is. She doesn't Some really guest, talk much. Guest host. Yeah, she just giggles. Um, listen to the way they talk about the uh, the publication of this video. Let's talk about this. Uh, Ray Rice of the Ravens. Uh, you saw some video from the Ravel Hotel in Atlantic City back in February. You saw that where he was dragging his knocked out then girlfriend, now wife, out of the car. Well, now TMZ shows us what happened inside and it is shocking. Here they're walking in yeah. and then we cut to the inside camera. And see what happened after that is after review, the NFL came out and suspended him for two games. He apologized profusely with his wife in a couple of press conferences. Then Roger Goodell, the commissioner, came out and said, I made a huge mistake. It's got to be more severe. It's the wrong message. It's going to be six weeks one time and then a ban for life if you do it again. Yeah. This, this is so shocking. It's so unfortunate, too, for the game of football in general that it puts such a black eye on the sport when it's such a great American pastime, right? I mean, from getting getting you well, teamwork and accountability and all this thing is for kids, but these guys are supposed to be role models, and they're, in some cases, beating up their girlfriends and then allowed to play after two games. Yeah, well, this, you know... It, it's very clear, and this is a little herky-jerky. Uh, TMZ kind of cleaned it up uh, to get rid of some jitter. But inside, you can see he hits her first, then she hits him back, and then boom, he just levels her. She hits her head on that rail right there, and then she is out cold, and he got suspended right. for two games. So is that enough? We asked you that. Here it goes. Don says he had no real consequences. She should have been fired. This sends a bad message to young kids that it's okay to beat up your girlfriend and tell girls to take it and then nothing will be done. And a tweet from Joe says, as a Ravens fan, I am disgusted and will not be cheering for him. The NFL and Ravens Positive. organization. Now you like how like the only thing these guys have said about this so far, right? Is it shocking? And then they go to the tweets to offer any type of criticism of what actually took place. For some reason, they are very consciously staying away from condemning, uh, condemning uh, Rice or the NFL. Now, I don't know. It's Fox, you know, Fox Sunday. You got to watch those football games. Who knows, right? What, what the... What the modus, uh, uh, what is behind this? But it's quite clear that they are avoiding any critique. And it's not like these guys don't weigh in on all sorts of stuff. But they're having the Twitter uh, responses do it for them. And, and you get a notion of where they're going with this. And everything they did say about it has to do with how it affects football. Right. You know, and and, and it, was all, it, was, it was shocking. It was shocking. Just like... Pictures of, I don't know, a tsunami. Shocking. You know, just sort of like, wow, that's an amazing... Crazy picture. stuff. Well, that's basically how they're saying it. Yeah. And then they let the audience react so that they have no culpability with whoever it is that tells them not to say anything negative about that. That's not the game plan for today. Remember, we got that huge contract with the NFL. Continue. Should be in shame as well. We should also point out after that video, and now you know what happened in there, she still married him.
They yeah. are they're yeah. currently married. I, I mean, look, Rihanna went back to uh, Chris Brown. Yeah, Chris Brown right after. A lot of people thought that was a terrible message. And then there's uh, Jay Z and Beyonce and Solange. That was also in an elevator. But he noticed JV didn't hit back. There was some craziness well, I there. think the messages take the stairs. <laughs> the message is, uh, when you're in an ele elevator, there's a camera. Yeah. And there's a camera right now on Heather Nauer, who's got the headlines. Hi. Uh, good morning to you. I've got some news on Plano, Texas. There you go. There you go, folks. That's the message. That's the message. It's not about... The message isn't, hey, we got a problem where um, uh, the NFL is covering up for this guy. It's not a, a question of, wow, we got a problem where the uh, casino is covering up for this guy. Wow, we got a problem where if you're a, a wealthy uh, football player or star or celebrity, you've got all sorts of mechanisms to cover up for you. The message isn't, uh, wow, this is a horrible uh, situation. Domestic violence is a real problem in this country. Um, we've got this going on everywhere. Uh, imagine if there wasn't a video, how many times does this happen on uh, any given day where people don't have this type of recourse? No, the message is don't forget guys. If you're going to stri strike your lady, there's, there's, uh, cameras in a uh, hotel, uh, hotel elevators and, or maybe you should just take the stairs. Well, that, that's the main point. And the other thing too, is that it also, you know, I, I don't, I don't know the narrative about this, but some that that is I, and I saw comments on a YouTube video that we put up yesterday of people basically saying like, well, she was hitting him. So it's self-defense, which is right. just utterly demented. And when they say Jay-Z didn't hit back, they're trying and they're I mean, for them, they're subtly making the same point. Right. Right. There's, there, there's she instigated it. They're actually doing that. Like, it's and a you know, joke. she did marry him. Yeah, she did marry him. She did hit him. She did marry him. Seriously, guys, there are video cameras in the elevators, so you yeah. need to knock your wife unconscious. Unbelievable. So here it is. Now, now, of course, they're gonna they they take a lot of grief uh, for that video, and here's how they responded uh, with it. This is almost as demented as the original in some ways. Uh, he had been a star at Rutgers University, not far from New York City. Uh, people are burning his jerseys. Uh, also, Rutgers removed him from the list of the Knights of the NFL. Yeah. So, uh, among the people who said he should be getting a second chance is former Raven coach Brian Billick, now a Fox broadcaster. He says, as bad as it is, uh, America's full of second chances. You'll hear that cut a little bit later. So our Facebook question of the day, we're asking you, should Ray Rice be banned from the NFL for life? Weigh in, and we will be sharing your responses coming up. Sure, you can contact us via Twitter or Facebook or email us, friends at foxnews.com. All right, uh, meanwhile, comments that we made during this story yesterday made some feel like we were taking the situation too lightly. We are not. We were not. Domestic abuse is a very serious issue to us, I can assure you. And we're going to continue to follow this story. Yeah, there you go. As in, it's seriously, serious, there are elevator cameras. So really, yes. that was a serious point, guys. We want to be adamant about this. Unbelievable. People thought we were joking about that. But if you were going to heinously beat your wife or fiancé, Please be aware of cameras. I, I still, uh, you know, I mean, I do think that there is an argument about um, the releasing of this video. But, I, I, you know, there's a certain uh, I, I don't know, I, you know, who knows, had it not been released, what would would have happened. But, uh, you know, it, it's, it's, it's a horrible situation. But isn't that the point? That she does, because I think there is a revictimization by this being released, and I think it is inappropriate in a certain sense. But isn't the point that it took this yes. for them to do the absolute obvious? Yes, that's the bigger point. Yeah. All right. We, uh, need, this we, is need, we'll... we needed her to be humiliated again before we actually took action. Uh, well, I, I, you know, it, it, I, I don't think that was the intention, but I, 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 I don't know. It's. Um... But I think the the what Fox did on some level was sort of uh, a just sort of a, the the icing on the cake in terms of showing what a problem it is in society still yeah. the, that the implications of the way that these stories are received.